yeah, and it's also the main thing. You're going to be paid out in Watts Pool and when you stake Hedron. I, I feel like Icosa is good also because it promotes people to stake their Hedron and earn based on how much the auctions are and stuff like that. I think that it's going to really jump, uh, all of this is really going to jumpstart it. I do think Icosa is like part rocket fuel to this. You know, if Icosa starts doing well in the market, people are literally going to FOMO buy and not even look into it. And then a whole bunch of hex gets bought, arbitraged, sold on the market. And it's like, it's almost like it's hex, obviously a derivative. It's like hex, but like a lot of people just buy just because the number's going up. But a lot of people hate hex for whatever stupidest reason. I mean, the other thing about Icosa and the Icosa contract is it makes what you sell the HSIs to to start the whole auctions in the first place. You know? Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah, that is the thing. It lubricates the auctions, which lubricates the entire, like, yeah. Can we say that Icosa's WD-40? It's like a central machine got to pass through it. You know, one worry that I heard from people, one person in particular who brought up, he's like, well, like, you know, there probably won't be any more HSIs in the future for auction. And it's like, now all of a sudden, well, now there's always probably going to be that, especially if Icosa does well. And then obviously people are going to need Hedron to go buy all those shares. And then all of a sudden people are going to want more Hedron. And then the best way of getting Hedron in the future is staking your hex for 15 years. I, I think that we do need to get closer to parity in order just to even have like who the f right now would take a hundred thousand hex take a loan out on it to get like you know like two three hundred bucks a fucking hedron you know like who, who the f would do that and then sell it on the market or, or something uh, to get usdc it just like doesn't make sense so i i Icosa really will jump start that uh, entire system i'm just buying and holding my hedron and staking it i don't, I don't want to take out loans on my hex i'm just looking and it's like do i just see like uh people changing their mind last minute being like oh dude i could buy a thousand dollars of hedron on the market right now and buy uh let's say five thousand dollars worth of hex for 15 years five thousand dollars worth of shares like and then just a whole bunch of people take money and then throw it at price at hedron because they're buying that day i think we're going to see over the minimum bid price because we're already so low right now as soon as the auctions come well if you could just take some fresh cash buy a thousand dollars worth of hedron and then buy four or five thousand dollars worth of shares why wouldn't you so oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, think, yeah, 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 yeah. so that's why i think we're going to see a big pump in hedron because if you're telling me that the prices are going to get better awesome i will go and buy cheaper hedron to buy the same shares that i wanted in the first place i don't think that these share coupons i, I look at hedron and share coupons like i don't think they're getting cheaper i think more people are realizing it i mean you can also in theory again you know use icosa and hex to accrue more shares through just swapping between or, or making an hsi sell on it for icosa swapping the icosa for hex and if you end up with more hex than what you started with you make another hsi say you were richard and uh you know you raised all these billions of dollars you got all of this fucking eth i don't think that all of his luxuries he's been buying are from any type of like initial like you know from like the eth the oa um the, or the aa i think all of that's his own personal money we all know how loaded he was with bitcoin before any of the hex stuff even came into existence so it's like if he had a couple billion to play with he could either do marketing or he could send hex on a bull run you know marketing only goes so far and he's gone over in some of his videos like yo marketing basically sucks people join cryptos because number go up and like you could just take that advertising money and just like if hex goes on a bull run while everything else is dying wow what type of ad, like that is uh advertising to next level what would richard do would he just take some usdc buy some hex do an encapsulated stake sell it to the contract well then what that does is that adds buy pressure to hex which then thus in turn throws that hsi into the buyback which thus in turn like kind of forces people to accumulate hedron which thus in turn makes people either buy icosa and then it gets overbought and then other people go do the hsi thing which re-lubricates the entire thing i mean i, I think with a little yeah, amount of yeah. money you could jump start this entire yeah. system and you'd also get the icosa in return for selling the hsi yeah and then he contract. makes the hedron even more rare because he stakes that icosa and then takes up the entire pool like at each transaction there's more digital scarcity it's really the hedron that gets so scarce like hex will be very scarce but uh like if people keep using these auctions because remember richard just tossed let's say richard tossed just a million dollars into hex bought it all off the market you know staked it and everything and now like there are there's a certain amount of money that is needed to buy that stake and now it, it's like if you know you can get a really good deal even if money's tight or market is down you'll find the money to get that deal
deal. I don't think Richard needs the money. He's in this for the glory. And him as a business owner, I'm a small business owner, so I, I would like to think we have similar thoughts. And um, like he could take money that he's earned from selling the ETH and stuff. Like instead of spending it on advertising, he could just like go buy some hex and like create his own little bull run with this system. And that would bring in more people than actually doing advertising or paying an exchange five, ten million dollars to get listed. Yeah, I, I've thought about that before. I'm sure that if it was, if it made sense, he would do it. Maybe he's just waiting to do it, but maybe it doesn't. No, make he sense. should. He maybe, should. Maybe he's waiting for something else to happen. Maybe it just never will make sense. But I've thought about it. It might make sense if you can get, if you can borrow against it, then it really makes sense because you could just set the price wherever you want it and then borrow against it. I was always under the impression whales really controlled the market. You know, you can have everyone come in and buy like the, uh, was it the GME and GameStop and shit like that? Like whales for the most part control these markets. And, you know, with the borrowing and sh shorting, like it's basically shorting, right? Like a whale could do whatever he wants. If everybody decided to sell their hedron and stuff, over time, you could like raise the price and liquidate everybody. I think um, well, it depends on how big the market is. So the smaller the market is, the easier it is to manipulate. And right. also, if, if you only own dollars, if you're a whale in dollars, and there's a lot of whales in dollars, then you can only drive the price up. But True. but Richard Hart is a whale in dollars, and, and in maybe crypto. in Ethereum, and maybe in Bitcoin, and maybe even in, 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 in debt, and maybe in X, and maybe in Hedron, and, like, and probably in Icosa dollars. somewhere. Probably can control those a lot more. But I, the question is, what direction would you want it to go in, and when? Like, do you want it to go? Do you want to pop the bubble because it's getting carried away, or do you want to do you want to get the bull market started because they finally sold Mt. Gox's coins, or do you want to pay, maybe even you want to pig all the icosas on all the chains to each other or something like that? I have a question. A couple million dollars of buy pressure to Hedron, like pretty quickly, like that would just skyrocket the price, right? There isn't like that much liquidity here. The thing is, is like if you had a couple million dollars, would you want to drive the price up against yourself? It kind of takes just a huge testicle move because you're you're betting that people will buy it after and, after you uh, double the price. Yeah, and maybe they'll just dump on your head after you buy it. Dollar cost so, average is what you're saying? Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's obviously the best way to do anything. But also, if you're a whale and you want to get into one of these things, you probably want to buy as it's falling down because then you know that if you buy too much, you just made the bottom. Like worst case, you made the bottom. And then then, then you just stop. When it starts going off, you just stop buying. And then That's so funny you say that. I was watching a wallet and I saw uh, somebody broke a whole bunch of stakes. $2.7 million worth of hex came out of the stakes after penalties. And the dude on the way down, I remember it was 50384 on Hedron. And it was like that tiny little bounce up. Um, and like that was like one dude's giant order. It's funny that you say that like it's better to buy on the way down like that as a whale. And like you'll basically create the bottom. I mean, we're 25% lower, a little bit less than 25% lower than that. But that giant order of 700 billion Hedron almost helped create the bottom. You're probably right. And it's all it's all about the ratio of your net worth. If you're, if you're worth a billion dollars, is it really worth your time to buy $10,000 of Hedron versus 10 million, which will just, you just drive the price up insane amounts. Sharks tend to get lazy with their money. Dude, Hedron's the greatest thing to hex. Like I got paid, like for all my long stakes, I got paid through those 10X bonuses. And it, it just like, it pays you to hold your hex even more. It's like, I made the right play. I can't believe it. Like I made the right play by not dumping my bags of hex and just keep being staked and then claiming my free hedron people are going to buy icosa and buy hex to earn hedron just so they can play in the the buybacks the yield is obviously with icosa currently and that yield can be turned into hedron essentially do you think we're all going to look back and be like fuck dude i should have bought another billion or two hedron no i think you're going to look back and be like dang i should have sold my challenger <laughs> Oh god. Just joking, man. I'm I'm trying to be a good friend, not one of those like do it, bro. Go all in. YOLO. I'll be real, I don't believe in YOLOing, but like if if I was going to ever do something YOLO, it was gonna be two times. Hack said a penny and a half and now. All right. Like I don't think there's ever another time where I would consider YOLOing. Yeah, you definitely got me to put a couple extra thousand dollars in and I, I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Uh you know, just throw a percentage back to me when when that turns into millions. I don't need any notoriety. My ego's not attached.
attached to it. I'll probably just disappear once I become quite wealthy. Disappear in the sense of like privacy, but not in the sense of just not engaging in the world. I'm definitely going to uh, create a lot of good and give back in the ways that I know how. Absolutely.